Hey guys, Big Rat 310 here again. Sorry, but most of you people who saw my review won't watch this video, so it doesn't matter anyways. Here to review PWG99. I've been watching it throughout the day. Gotta say, it's a pretty good show, man. Uh, I still think 100 is probably the better show. 100 didn't have a four star match, this did. But 100 had like three, three and three quarter star matches. Plus, like when you compare like the different types of matches that this show had and the other show had that were similar, the other show kind of had some better ones. It's a tough call. Plus, the other one had that awesome comedy match between Kenny Omega and Brian Anderson. It's a tough call. I think they're about both the same. I'm going to give this an 8.5 as well. So, let's, uh, let's get to it. I don't think this is a bad show at all, see, dude. I think this is a very good show, just for your information. We start off with the six-man tag match, which is Scorpio Sky and Los Luchas, who are Phoenix Star and so Joe Cray, I can't pronounce that, versus Scott Loss and the Cutler Brothers. This was very good. I'm going to give this three and a half stars. Very entertaining opener. Really got the crowd into the match. Um, I really like Scott Loss in this match. He really showed his talent here. And the Cutler Brothers, I saw very little of them in their match against the Young Bucks. Maybe I did, but the Young Bucks, their, their talent just showed completely on how great and awesome of a tag team they are. And the Cutler Brothers, Scott Loss. Impressed me in hell in this match. This match was given a lot of time, like 15, 14 minutes. I'm used to ROH DVDs where they give like 8 minutes for their opener, and their openers are never really more than 2 and 3 quarter. So it was very nice. I actually, have a nice, good, refreshing opener to get me pumped for the show. Next thing, Brian Anderson versus Chuck Taylor. I'm going to give this 3 stars. It gave us way too much time, like 20 minutes when it didn't need it. You know, it, 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 I think at first they tried to be a comedy match. But then they just decided to be, have a regular wrestling match. It was kind of confused. The match was confused. It started off like the first one being very funny. Ask Trademark. I was on a call with him while I was watching this match. And I was laughing my ass off. And then like it got to the point where just, they didn't want to they didn't want to be funny anymore. They just they wanted to have a good wrestling match. And I'm like, pick one or the other. And when you have Chuck Taylor, quite frankly, I think you should pick the comedy side because you can have both, as Cole Cabana has proven. A little boring in parts after we watch it a few times, and I never really get bored with Brian Danielson matches. Chuck Taylor's good though. Um, I don't know, just three stars, kind of average. Pretty good though. Um, uh, good to average, decent, I guess is the best word. A uh, singles match next, B Boy vs Joy Ryan. I think this match is pretty underrated. I really enjoyed this match. I'm gonna give it three and a quarter stars. I, I thought it was fun. I did like it the first time, but I rewatched it, and I, I thought, yeah, you know, it's actually a pretty good match. Um, my problem with it, you can hear Joey Ryan say, mustache ride. Yeah, as right as he's about to do a mustache ride, which is, here, let's get Mr. Bear, since Mr. Bear, for all my new subscribers, when I had like 200 subscribers, I would use Mr. Bear to explain certain spots. Okay, so you have, what's the name, B-Boy in the top rope, Joey Ryan up here, he screams out the word, mustache ride, and then there's the mustache ride on the ground. Be a little more professional. I mean, I know you have to talk, and sometimes it does get a little loud, especially in PWG when there are no crowds, but like for ROH, for the Jerry Lynn, uh, Jay Briscoe match validation, they talked a shitload of the match. The crowd was dead. I don't know if I mentioned it in my video. I think I did, though. They talked a shitload. You could hear Jay Briscoe say, Jerry Lynn, oh, we're to the rope. And Jerry Lynn, like, leads us forward. What? And Jerry Briscoe says, we're made to the rope. And Jerry Lynn goes, okay. And then he leads back, and then he whistles to the ropes. I mean, it was very obvious. You could hear it so many times during that match. Be a little more professional is all I'm asking. It was still a very fun match. Three and a quarter. I like the ending. Uh, so maybe it's, some people don't like the ending. I thought it was, you know, it was okay enough. I, I felt satisfied with the ending and what it accomplished. So we have Kenny Omega versus Davey Richards. Second match of the night, three and three quarter. Very fun, very entertaining match. I love both workers. I mean, I love Davey Richards. That's documented. Kenny Omega, I've always loved him. I've never really, I mean, I've always liked him. I've never really loved him because I really hadn't seen enough of him. And he just told me, dude, trust me, you will see some awesome stuff from this guy. And this proved it to me. This was that awesome stuff that Age Jordan 34 was talking about. And how Kenny Omega is such a beast. And this was a very good match from Kenny Omega and David Richards. Three and three quarter stars. Next against Sanji Dutt, Roderick Strong. Eh, three stars. Eh, it was, it was alright. Sanji Dutt did a great performance. The match was given way little time. It was only given like 10 minutes. When, you know, in PWG, they go match, 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 match with, like, two... There's, like, two promos the whole show. And both of them are no longer than five minutes. One of them's, like, two minutes. So, and it's a two-and-a-half-hour show. So, you gotta go straight from match to match. And each match usually gets a good amount of time. That's why I like PWG for that. But this one did not get enough time. This one only got ten minutes. They were they, they had a good match. Then they kind of ended the match. They really got to show what they could really do. Uh, still, uh, I'll give it three. Still kind of fun. Still pretty good. 
Let's get Tyler Black, El Generico. I think this match is a little overrated. I think this is three and a quarter, maybe three. I don't know where people are getting three and three quarter and four from, which I've read. But it was still good. I like their match at nine and the Witcher two more. But this was still a fun match. But it didn't really get fun until like the last five minutes. The first ten minutes, they were just having a regular match. So that's why I think it's a bit overrated in the in the, the PWG community. It was still a very good match. I mean, not very good, but good match. Three and a quarter. Fairly enjoyable. Next, we get to Chris Shearer, Austin Aries. I agree with Armour Hammer 26. This match was kind of disappointing. I mean, it's still three and a half stars. Maybe three and a quarter. I don't know. I didn't really enjoy it as much. I mean, the wrestling quality is there, but did I really enjoy it as much as I did a three and a half star match? I don't know. That's debatable. I'm still going to give it three and a half, probably. But I did like it, but like it was just disappointing. I thought this match would be loads better. For some reason, these guys just didn't click. It was like I said, it was still very good. I, I, yeah, it was still very good, like three and a half, maybe three and a quarter. I don't know. I might have to demote it to three and a quarter because, as you can see by my review, I'm not liking the match too much. But it was still pretty disappointing. I, mean, I thought it would be a lot. These guys just the chemistry was there, but I don't think it was a strong bond. Uh, you know, using science terms to to this review. I don't think it was a strong chemistry that they had. It was there, no doubt, but I don't think they had the best chemistry. I'm probably going to have to give this three and a quarter because of it. Because I don't know really if I enjoyed the match that much. It was still, you know, okay match. Pretty good match, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to give it three and a quarter. I, I, as you can tell, I clearly didn't like the match that much. So I can't give it three and a half. But it was three and a quarter, you know, pretty good for the most part. But it could have been loads better. Unless you get the PWG Tag Titles, the match of the night. And the match of PWG 99 and PWG 100, I would say. Uh, the Young Bucks versus the Motor City Machine Guns. Those of you who saw the Dragon Paper, you know what the Young Bucks can do. And then you add them with the Motor City Machine Guns. And it's just awesome. This was kind of disappointing, but not for me. Because A.J. Jordan told me the, expect this ma the match was good, but the expectations were high. I guess people were ex expecting, you know, like the Briscoes, Motor City Machine Guns type of match. But I went in there... Feeling, thinking that it would let me down, and it actually, you know, I, I was expecting like three and a half. It was actually four. It's a, and it's a strong four, a very strong four. I don't think I can quite say four and a quarter, but it's a, it's a very strong four, and it was a very good match, very fun, very enjoyable. I really did like this show, PWG ninety nine. I'm gonna give it probably an eight point five, just because I don't think it's not necessarily better than a hundred. This is the better wrestling. Actually, it might, it might not even have the better wrestling. 100 might have the better wrestling. And 100 definitely has the better comedy on the show. This, had, this didn't have a lot of comedy integrated into the show. Like I said, a little bit with Brian Davis and Chuck Taylor. That was very funny. But then they just kind of stopped. It was. It's still a good show. I do not think it's a bad show. I think it's 8.5 worthy. It's still a very good show. I am going to put this in my top 10 indie shows of the year. PWG 99. I do not think it's a bad show at all. I think you should all check it out. So my list is DDT4. I've been looking forward to watching this show for a long time. And then after that, The Secret of Gorilla Island. And then I will be officially caught up on PWG. And then I will try to watch Manhattan Mayhem, Violent Tendencies, and Evan and May and End of an Age to be caught up with Ring of Honor. But as you guys already know, that's Port Sonor Night 1 and 2 is already released, which is making me upset because now I can't get caught up. In time at least. So like I said, I would definitely go out and buy PWG 99 and PWG 100 if I had 100 with me. I reviewed it like in July. So yeah, please go ahead and check out these shows. PDG, this it's a very fun show. Like I had a lot of fun watching PDG 99 and 100 more than a lot of the ROH shows I've seen this year. Okay, uh, maybe I should talk about the NFL a little. Very disappointing week for me. A lot of unpredictable games, like Spinner had said. God, I lost a lot, man. I think I went six and eight. I mean, I know I said in my video Tampa Bay, but I put in the description box Bills because I changed my mind. Or, or did I put Tampa Bay? I remember, I remember thinking what I wrote to say. Wait, did I say Tampa Bay? Nah, never mind. I think the Bills are a better pick. So that's why I think the Bills will win. Let's see. Who did I get wrong? Carolina lost again. Cincinnati beat Green Bay. I, I would have bet my life that Green Bay was going to score when they were on the 10 just because they were fighting Cincinnati. I picked Jacksonville. I picked the Chiefs. I picked the Patriots. I picked the Saints. I picked the Tech. I picked the Titans. I picked the Redskins. I picked the Bills. I picked the 49ers. I picked them. Steelers, like everyone else on this planet. That's probably the biggest upset out of all of them. I don't, well, maybe not necessarily. The biggest upset technically is Cincinnati Green Bay, but I don't think anyone thought Pittsburgh would lose. I think I saw, I think some people could have imagined Cincinnati beating Green Bay. Denver, I picked. I picked the Chargers instead of Baltimore, and I picked the Giants who just won instead of the Cowboys. Yeah, Jared, I know you're happy. So yeah, I went 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 7, and 8. I win 7 and 8, and I still have my Dolphins tomorrow against the Colts. I don't know how they're going to do. I picked the Colts to win, so it's kind of win-win for me. You know, the Dolphins win, great. If the Colts win, hey, at least I got it right. So I can really care less. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I got to say for today. Probably going to go to bed. I'm a little tired. I, I will try to watch some of DDT4 throughout the week. But like I said, yeah, you know what? Go check out PWG99 and PWG100. Maybe I should do one DVD reviews more. I, I can say everything that I want to say. So, yeah, I'm being grad. Three, ten, I'm out, guys. See you.